right. Hello, everyone. This is Man in the Black Hat. And Game Collector. And we're here for more Let's Play Metal Gear Solid for the... As I make sure that I'm on the correct frickin' screen. Now... Side Ops. Let's not do those. Please. Primary mission. Occupation forces. Eliminate the colonel who's been reassigned from Shaki Village to Smase Fort. And prevent the tanks from redeploying to Smase Fort. Mission accepted. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yes, I want to be there. Oh yeah, that's right. Now I remember why I watch on the PC instead of on this console. Huh. Ads. All right. Inadvertently, out of nowhere. Do you need the Grom 11 for this mission? And MRS 4. Yeah, they'll be fine. Secondary. Yeah, that'll work. Stun arm. That'll work. Support. Don't have the Thor arm yet? No, no, I don't have that yet. The Thor arm for your forearm. Ugh. Items. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay, that's intentionally none. Okay. Select vehicle. No, I don't need a vehicle. Commence mission. At 1800. Did you... Did you select a companion? I selected D-Horse, which is the only companion in, that you can have at this point in time. Because we're but still... You got, uh, qu we uh, you, captured you Quiet. Just we quiet. haven't... We haven't yeah, you... gotten to have her on a mission yet. Remember, we're still early in the game, despite having spent over six months on this stupid shit. In total. Yep. I mean, the last Mega Man game I played before doing six was two. This mission has two objectives. Eliminate the colonel scheduled to take up a post at Smasi Fort and stop the deployment of his tank unit. Your first move should be to head to Sakai Village and search for the colonel and his deployment plans. Okay, Sakai Village. Grab the colonel and his deployment plans, then take out the battle tanks. So you're gonna tank them for the memories? Yeah. If I had the right uh, equipment for this, I would totally steal, steal the tanks, tanks. But I can't. So long, and tanks for all the fish. No reaction! I, I honestly thought you would've gotten me. I was fire. busy. Okay. I wanna go here. Yoink. Okay. Oh, now the new launcher is complete. Of course. Yeah, of course, after you leave. It's never going to be finished while you're there. Why would, it, why would that happen? I want off this horse. How do I get off this horse? 
How do I get off this horse? I don't think you want to do that. There we go. No, I want to get off the horse, not get the horse off. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You have arrived. Dumb joke central has been established. Yep. Granted, it was established the previous video, which, if you guys know what we're talking about, we just finished doing my Mega Man 6 episode. Extraction arrived at Mutterbase. Okay. And Stupid Joke Central starts at the first Robot Master. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis Who I'm sure complete. Hat will now affectionately call Habib. Habib. Oh my goodness. This is going to take some careful work to get through. At least you have a snooper roofal. No, I don't. Oh, just a scope? Oh, yeah. binoculars, that's right. I'm sorry, I've been playing frickin' Fallout 4 for so long, I forgot what binoculars were. <laughs> Considering those don't exist in that game, but they do exist in New Vegas, for some weird reason. Weird. I mean, to be fair, they're really useful in New Vegas until you get a sniper rifle. And then you have binoculars with built-in ability to kill someone. Yeah, I know. Ain't that amazing? Uh-huh. Okay. Nobody is around the radar station. Oh. Nope. That's... Definitely no one around the radar station. Main way into the village is watched. So we're going to be very careful about sneaking through. Hey guys! Fuck you. <laughs> I like you wouldn't have done the same thing. Exactly. That's why I said fuck you. And I would have responded in like. Okay. Is there a way up? Why, yes, yes, there is. Goody. Okay. Oh, that asshole has night vision. Time to keep the fuck away from him. Time to make sure he goes the fuck to sleep later. Okay. Get down that stupid light. Night. You have arrived at your destination. And yay, dumpster. dumpster. Looks big enough to hide somebody. You could stash a downed enemy in there or hide in it yourself. Just don't stand too close to me afterward. Press the wrong button. But I still got the guy in. Yay! Okay, there's that guy. Oh, I'm being 
so damn careful. see anything. Go away. Told you you didn't see anything, jackass. Yoink. I believe there was a bathroom I saw back here earlier. In you go. Yes, I'm being careful because I happen to know this mission. Very, very careful. Yay. Drop. Be very, very quiet. And good night. Sleepy time. Oh yeah. Now strap a balloon to his back. Oh, I intend to. Oh wait, can you not do that? I intend to. I'm just going to not do it here, where he can easily be seen. Fair enough. Bye, asshole. Clowns. You gotta extract him. And the lights turned off. I have someone to rescue. Did I not in? Oh, I can't use the C4 while I'm rescuing this dude. Doop -a doop doop doo. Bye. Development 
Challenge complete. Okay, subject is in. Okay. Bonk. When the time is right. That will make sure that they can't call for reinforcements. That will destroy their enemy radar defenses. And now I know where to go. Hee 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 hee. Gonna get him. Yep. No, whenever I say that to the cat, he immediately starts to flee. I thought you gave him flea baths. Not that kind of flea. Ha. Huh. Although he has been bug free for the past month and a half now. Yeah. It is good. Yes. Night. I had gone through either window, I, the jig would have been up. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I got a room full of sleepy Easy idiots. Time. And then you're going to drag them all outside and strap balloons to their backs. Nope. I got too many dudes as it is. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Oh, I guess they still get to be employed by the Russians. Yep. Whoever.
Be nice, guys. Really? For fuck's sake. I'm gonna have to switch to lethal soon. Well, that's what happens when you have such little ammo. God! <laughs> I knocked them all the fuck out! Bye, bitches! <laughs> Take that, and that. Flowers. Extraction arrived at the motor base. Oh, hello. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Incoming. Yup. Ow, dead. So long, and thanks for all Snake, the fish. Talk to me, Snake. Okay, let's try that again. Only this time without the stupid. I sent the tank units route to your right droid. You should really try taking out the gunner and then using the EMP gun first. The what? What, you don't remember Fireteam Crimson's primary strategy of stealing tanks? We don't have EMP oh, guns right. here. Wrong game. Yep.
Come on, blow up! Well, the colonel's still alive. Supply drop right the fuck here, please. Supply drop complete. Sup, Colonel. Firing from that position, no mo. And yoink. Booyah, bitch. Nice work. Keep it up. Good. You completed the objective. Now get out of there. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Pick up. Perfect. Roger. Just gonna run. Clouds approaching. Back. Extraction arrived at the mother base. Get you wolves. Get the puppy. Since they wanted to be in my Get way. Get the puppy. Get a nap and go to the zoo. Up we go. Let's get the fuck out of here. GTF mode mode activated. <laughs> wasn't total stealth. Pretty close, but it wasn't total stealth. Extraction arrived at mother base. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. 
I did get a no kill bonus. Yay! You didn't have to go lethal. Nope. Killing tanks and their crew does not count as lethal. Apparently. Okay. The NGO that asked us to rescue wild animals isn't ready to take them in yet. So we had no choice but to build an animal conservation platform. The NGO said they'll cover all expenses, including the day-to-day -day housing and feeding costs. Cool. If you're interested, Take a chopper over and have a look. Extracted. Bullet Harrier. Rescuer. Neat. Crimson Kangaroo. Fortunate. Raving Bull. Shit. Boss, if you got time on your hands, come spend it back at the base. The men will miss you if you're gone too long. Okay. A zoom game. Boss, a certain scientist has contacted us wanting to defect from the east. Uh oh. His name is Emmerich. Oh. <laughs> Naming you as Huey. We suspect he was complicit in the attack. I'm sure I'm going to see what's ago. bad going to happen now. Huey Emmerich wants back in. Can we, uh, just shove him into the ocean? Eventually. Can we do it without the boat? No. And take a shower. Welcome back, boss. Yay, staff morale increased. Oh, oh hey, yeah, we got a new got a new platform. Hey, yeah, uh, now I don't smell like uh, Afghanistan. You don't smell like an Afghan hound. I don't smell like many things, Afghanistan. There you go. And you found a shiny rock. Mm-hmm. Ironically enough, diamonds are like the least valuable gemstone known to man. The only reason they're so expensive is because they're owned by essentially one family and monopolized. Yeah. Why are they the least valuable? Because they don't have much in the way of use. The only really use they have as far as things go for them that's good is industrial purposes. Yep. Boss. Supplies. Let us know. Chain with me, boss. Like diamond tip drills and uh, saw blades. That's about it. Uh, semiconductors also use them. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. You go to a game about war, and we're suddenly talking boss. about the uses for shiny the rocks. <laughs> That's because we're talking about the war diamonds. Mm -hmm. Conflict diamonds, as a matter of fact. Wait, where'd the conflict diamond go? Oh, it's above.
Those animals owe you their lives. Right before they tried to bite out my jugular. I really don't think they care that much. Ha. Boss, you need combat support. Let us know. Oh, there it is. Shiny rock. Yep, I got shiny rock. How you doing, boss? Now, if you actually do want a valuable gemstone or something, an Australian opal. Oh? Fuck! Those things can go for either a, for about half a million. Just a tiny one. Nice. Yeah. There are people who actually live in opal mines. They actually make their their living space in the earth to effectively... They basically live like they were actually Minecraft people. Development project yeah. has been Just added. not having to worry about skeletons or things that go... Fump. Well, they do it. <laughs> Fump. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They have different worries, but I actually watched a documentary about Star that. Assigned. Really interesting. They have air vents that go right up to the surface. And they do have electricity, too, so, you know. Cool. I can't remember where I saw it though. It was either on BBC or the Science Channel or National Geographic. It was one of those. Three hundred total markings. Extract a wild gray wolf. Development project. Bond level twenty-five percent with D horse. Mission task completion rate ten percent. Extract the prisoner. Occupation forces with rank A or above. Complete recapture cult and mine. Damn. Okay, got that. Oh, we have tapes to listen to. Neat. When Clyde first came here, she demonstrated her marksmanship against that enemy fighter plane. It showed she was much more than your everyday crack shot. Hitting a moving target from 600 meters is a challenge, but it's possible with the right training and equipment. But shooting down that missile, that's a world apart from taking out a soldier on patrol. The chopper and the missile were in motion, meaning different vectors at high velocity in three-dimensional space, and she shot <coughs> a guided bullet that had to fight air resistance and gravity. All that while the chopper was taking evasive maneuvers. Some of the best target leading I've ever known. She has a superhuman sense of spatial awareness. You put her in a fighter jet, and she'd be an ace right off the bat. Hell, your judgment was top class, too. Realizing she could take out that pilot, that's quick thinking. You and Quiet could make a hell of a team. You'd be damn near unstoppable. Quiet is still in her cell. Only a few staff are authorized to go near her. She hasn't tried anything funny, but that's what bothers me most. In particular, what does she have to gain by coming to Mother Base? I first thought she was under orders from Cypher to take you out. She didn't manage it in Afghanistan, so round two happens here. So I lighten the guard. And that lock on her door is a joke. You gave her an opening. And? Well, she hasn't killed you yet. And I hate to say it, but she's had plenty of chances. You made me the bait. Poisonous bait. What better? Anyway, she didn't bite. Quiet is keeping her silence. So I'm left with no idea again what she's doing here. We tried communicating with her through writing. That didn't work either. Whether she's illiterate, dyslexic, or just plain stubborn, she won't cooperate. I just don't get it. If she tried to contact the outside, it'd be picked up by our counterintelligence net. But it's clean. There's no sign she's had contact with the staff, the base facilities, nothing. She's almost got the men wanting her to try something, just to find out what she's up to. 
And she's in there putting on the failed soldier look, all oh. downcast eyes and defeated sighs. But she doesn't kill herself. She can't be trying to leave Cypher and surrender to us. <laughs> so what's the verdict? This may sound optimistic, but here's how I see it. Quiet came here to fulfill some objective. To kill you, maybe to destroy Diamond Dogs. Whatever it was, before she could do it, something changed her mind. Yes. When I look at her, I sense hesitation. You think she'd betray Cypher? Can't say for sure. I prefer the ones that talk. Anyway, we'll keep her under watch. And we're also looking into those special abilities of hers. You'll be the first to know if something comes up. Why not look in on her yourself once in a while? Right. Okay. Roger. Oh, right into another. <laughs> A meat. Fully trained and ready for action. The rest is up to you. Diddy, go. Why don't you go visit quiet? Because cutscene. Also, Doge. Yes. And now he's got doggy breath. And that doggy breath is going to be in our face. A lot. You could say you got dog meat now. No, we've got Dee Dee. Dee Dee's more awesome than dog meat. To be fair, you can't get you can't get this deluxe edition bundle that has real dog meat. Hmm. Who will gladly sit next to your desk as you play the game? Aww. Yeah, someone took a photo of their German Shepherd who looks exactly like dog meat in game. Doing that German Shepherd head tilt. While Fallout, while the Fallout 4 Deluxe Edition bundle box is next to their desk and playing on the computer in the background. Should come in handy for infiltrating outposts. I trained him to detect mines and medicinal plants too. When he locates something, check your map. Base facilities are as high as they're going to go for now. We don't have enough fuel resources. For the time being. Yeah. Please select a mission. Hmm. Make contact with Emmerich. The only way we want to make contact with Emmerich is with a shotgun. Right. Head or to Sarah Carpenter. Make contact with scientist Dr. Emmerich. Wants to defect. Emmerich is suspected of being involved with the attack on Mother Base nine years ago. Please select a landing zone. Uh. Yeah. Heading to Afghanistan. Now, select equipment. Primary. Use the M2000D. Yes, big gun. Okay. 
Eh. Commence mission. 1800. D-Dog is my second favorite. Quiet is my favorite. D-Horse yep. can, can go fuck off. And then, of course, you have one of my favorites, the robot. Oh, yeah, that's right. You you have the little kitty from uh, frickin' Boktai DS as your emblem. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. I think you can get the uh, the little sunflower, too. Because people forget Kojima made those games, too. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually liked the first Boktai, especially after I managed to actually go outside and play it, which essentially boiled down to sit in backyard with on a lawn chair with your Game Boy out. Yeah. Go outside, exercise. Okay, I'll go outside. I'll do that part, at least. I mean, I actually got to the point where... I only have, like, one thing left to do, and the other thing requires me to get another copy of the game and another Game Boy and a frickin' Link cable. But, um... I actually managed to get the second best battery in the game. Hmm. Which is the Astro battery, which is powered by the amount of sunlight you have in the bank, which never runs out if you use it effectively. Neat. Fill up the bank, and then you just wait for a few days, and it'll build back up on interest. Neat. And to get that battery, you actually have to get a lot of high rank stuff and get the tree to bloom pink. Okay. It's supposed to bloom like a Sakura tree. Ah, okay. And when that happens, you get the second best battery in the game. To get the best battery in the game, you have to get all four, uh, all four tag emblems, which are card suits, and then go to the hundredth floor of the endless post-game tower mm. and beat the boss at the end. And then you have Analysis the battery, which never complete. runs out, ever. Analysis complete. Although to be fair, in the the se the unofficial sequel, which is it's not called Boktai in the U.S., it's Lunar Nights. You don't have to go outside because the DS didn't get that feature. Oh. Couldn't be included on a DS game card. Instead, you use Boktai one or two, and that acts as a solar sensor. Oh. Neat. Otherwise, everything everything works in game. So you know, go outside or not, up to you. Complete. Analysis complete. Okay. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. And looks like they're going to be easy to move around. I'm not going to get that guy on the scan. Whatever. Bitter Dingo has been awarded Distinguished Service Medal. Okay, follow the road.
run, 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 Two dudes with backpacks, that's how much I can tell. Let's get off the beaten path. over here analysis complete nothing okay well the sandstorm is here move on to where I need to go Process materials, where? Oh, process materials here. Yay! Pure love. Back to what I was doing. Map. Run again. I'm sure he did. Don't care about the medicinal plants. Aha. Get to a good area where I can see. Dude smoking. Extraction. He's Nothing gonna else. be smoking Nothing after else. you're done with him. Ah. I think I can just bypass this guard tower entirely. Enemy Although I am gonna want to know where they are, so. Yeah, these guys are just smoking and joking. Not even going to bother with them. And I ran. I ran so far away. Speaking of... I thought we were in Iraq. No, actually we're in Afghanistan. We're in Afghanistan. Yeah, there we go. I'm just out for a walk with my dog. Do 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 do. D dog found a wild animal. Where? Oh, up there. Doop 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 doop. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. There's a dude here now. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Okay. 
Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Can I see anything? No. Guy with a fucking radio. Another guy with a fucking radio. Gotta sneak. Gotta sneak. Drop. Okay, back to sneaking. This is new. Yeah. Oh. Nothing there. Can completely bypass that guy. Oh, hello. Analysis complete. Complete. Accidentally fall off. Analysis complete. Oh, my goodness. Analysis complete. More. Oh. Hello. I want you. Get that team. Analysis complete. Quietly sneak. Bye, assholes. Analysis complete. Ooh, combat ability. Don't come in. He didn't come in good. Sneaky, 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 breaky. Talk. Snick. 
mix. And good night. Cheeky breaky. Oh, hello, dumpster. Dumpster, receive unconscious body. Stop looking in this direction, fuck nut. There's nothing. Yes, there you go. Nothing interesting over here. Fuck off. And then they got jumped by the invisible thing. To. him. Come in with me, jackass. Yay, balloon on his back. Eventually. Right into a cutscene as fast as possible. Vroom vroom. Mm. 
Mm. Oh boy, Miller's in this one. That was a voice over the comm, but yeah. And pissed himself. So you're just gonna kill me? Of course he did. So Holanthropus is mine now. Exactly does he dress like anti <clears throat> Lone Ranger again? I forgot why he wears a mask. Yes, and have you seen his face? Yeah, it's not like anyone wouldn't recognize him or anything. We still have use for him. I mean, at least with the mask, he's at least somewhat pleasant looking. Or at least tolerable to look at. Well, I guess even he gives himself nightmares. Mm-hmm. Little micro gear chicken walkers. And now back to being in control. <clears throat> Yay! Assuming direct <sighs> control. Intel. Drop.
Just as those guys got done talking. Yay. So that last mission was perfect stealth, no kills. Yay! That's an enemy gunship. A single burst from its machine gun can cut a man in half. Tread carefully, boss. Oh fuck, enemy hind. Unless you're a liquid, that's like a really nasty weakness of a snake. Yeah. Okay, it's going up on the roof. I just thought of something stupid. Hmm. Is it possible at some point to attach a balloon to helicopters? No. Because that just seems... Oh, because if it was, that would be hilarious and really oxymoronic and stupid, but still absolutely hilarious. Hmm. I'm sure there's a mod for it in the PC version. <laughs> A dude with only one skill. He gets a nap. He's not coming home with us. Nope. Oh, he's coming home with us. He's got massive mechanical skills. Oh. Yeah, that'd probably do it. Sounds like nope, we're just under the helicopter rotors, that's all. Oh my god. I want that guy too. Steal all of the guys. Bye. He's coming too. Roger that. Say good night, Gracie. Guys, is so totes worth it? Enemy presence detected. Analysis map. Gotta extract him. And be 
because of that they get three balloon rides. Three balloon rides for everyone that I want. Mm-hmm. Gotta be kind of picky. Tarragon. Did more Tarragon. D Dog just D Dog teleported in front of you, didn't he? No. Did you see that boss? That giant weapon system that disappeared into the cave? I've uh, heard it was the Kremlin's biggest secret. But to think that doctor has been working on it. And the man with the skull for a face. It's been on my mind since you encountered the skulls during the honeybee mission. It's really him. Enemy Boss, detected. He's the commander of Cypher Strike Force XOF. And probably the mastermind of the attack nine years ago. Am I? I thought he and Zero parted ways. I'll look into it. You just focus on the mission. Okay, they're going the opposite direction of me. Actually, they're going the same direction as me, so... They're going the direction that you are facing, or rather the direction toward... They're coming towards you, is what you probably... No, 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 no. They are not coming towards me. They're going away from me. Oh. Oh, they're walking the same direction you are, then. Okay. <clears throat> I couldn't tell when you were crouched down. Remember, I am several seconds behind you. Caution. He doesn't even notice that his buddy is gone. And now he's out of it too. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. But they're not getting a free balloon ride. They don't deserve it. Nope. Nyrm. Oh, well, Sandstorm, that'll probably help you. Yep. Hence the Nyrm. Let's see. Go past checkpoint Other? two and right into the Afghan central base. Okay. Four? Up here. Hmm. What's up here? Oh. This is the shortcut Stop. I was going for. Yay! Your shortcut. Which may or may not have stuff on it. Analysis complete. Mm. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Okay. Yep. Going around to avoid them. Oh, 
do 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 Run around the enemy Running around the enemy, the enemy, the enemy Now jog so that I don't make quite so much noise Also, work out your cardio. Hit. Okay, come on. Three yahoos sitting around a con a conex container. Able to steal stuff in the I box? I can't. No. Oh, not yet. That's pink. Oh, wow. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Fuck you three. You hurt my dog. Kill them. Exactly what I did. Well, it sucks to be them. They shouldn't have hurt the dog. Good dog. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. Getting towards daytime. Analysis complete. Wait. Hmm. Okay, he's worth getting. Yep, six AM. Complete. Enemy 
And he's off. Subject on board. Because Leave free balloon rides for the guys who deserve them. Mm-hmm. That guy was a really good medic. So I'm like, yeah, you're Yay, coming with. Hey, medic. Hello, helicopter. I wish I could grab those vehicles. You won't be able to until later on. Mm hmm. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Okay. Now I can keep track of where assholes are. Which is like all the time. Tuh. Wow, that guy's really good at combat. It's time to knock him out and strap a balloon to his back. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna sneak past. These guys are too risky to get. There he is. Oh, shit. You don't see nothing. Oh, good.
Turn the other way. There's nothing to see here. Well, this game is patience. Game. I Maybe know that feeling. Facing the other direction. I mean I feel this way when trying to snipe super mutants in Fallout 4. Right? Sitting about s sitting about 50 meters away, wearing a full suit of power armor, crouched down, holding a rifle, specifically attributed doing 50% more damage against super mutants. The only difference is I don't it's really hard to be stealthy in a full suit of X-01 power armor, or X-01 power armor. At least until I add a stealth boy to it. Spit it out. Where are your friends? The map has been updated. And... Good night. Hooray! He's sleepy now! Speaking of, you shitty. Ooh. Well, I guess his boss gets to keep him then. His weapon's nice, though. I'll trade him. <laughs> Use better gun. Sneaky breaky. Snacky, snacky, snack. Material container. Blue. Oh, fuck that noise. You have arrived. Cooked to the laser sight. Neat. And suddenly I have a 45. What the fuck? Who are you? Snake? Cutscene induced gun swappage. Right. It's not you, is it? Hey! It's just a machine. Okay, I'm sending a chopper close by. Get to the LZ with Emmerich. 
Hang on a second. Let's use the walker gear I developed to escape. There's a special one here at the lab. Only I can activate it. And I'll tell you how to operate it. Ignore Everek. We don't need his wind-up toys. It is a long way there. <laughs> I was developing a bipedal weapon for the Soviet Union. It hasn't been deployed. I was doing mobility testing. Once the walker gear is finished, they'll have a huge advantage in close combat. Once they add my masterpiece into the equation, this war will be over. Soviets will win. He was developing bipedal weapons for the Soviets. If that's the case, what cipher is interest in it? Boss, think back. Nine years ago, we invited that nuclear inspection team to Mother Base. It was a ruse. They turned out to be Cypher's strike force. It was Emmerich who brought them there. He's been underground. You get to since. keep the robot walker oh, after you cyber. walk out holding uh, jackass Emmerich over here? Uh, yeah, if you can, if you can get vehicles, but I can't get vehicles, so I lose this oh, one, yeah, you don't have but I'll get more. Also, the jackass builds you one, right? Yep, yeah, he builds you one. Well, can you carry the asshole while you're in buggy mode? Yep. And I just realized, next Mario Kart game, Solid Snake DLC, he gets one of these as a fucking go-kart. It would be absolutely hilarious. Out in the open, with a desert-colored robot, carrying around an asshole wearing robot legs, and no one fucking notices. Maybe. Hey, I got an idea. Walk up against the wall for a little bit and let his... And he's, you know, he might accidentally get a concussion. I mean, it's not like we have any, any knowledge of that happening. Ha. Huh. Oh, shit! Oh, time to book it the fuck out. Because the hand doesn't have a crush reflex.
then how the fuck did he not fall out? Because it was caged around him. Well, he's not looking. Or, you know, just stand there like a fucking idiot. Or run. Running works. Running works, Running really, works well. really fucking well. I mean, it's unfortunate that we can't just leave Emmerich to die. I mean, that would be nice for everyone involved. Yeah. Can't you just, like, drop his robot legs somewhere? It's not like he needs them or anything. Just slap him in a wheelchair! He'll be fine! See, he's smiling! Ha ha ha! <laughs> Ocelots whistling while while like having and you see you see Emery with a fake hook smile because of like surgical hooks forcing him to smile. Oh god! Like, see, he's smiling. He's happy to be in just a wheelchair. Then he whimpers and then Ocelot slaps him. It's like, see, those are happy sounds. <laughs> Oh god, if Deadpool were in Metal Gear Solid, that is essentially what would happen. Um, what were those that it just shot? Sensor pods. Oh, that's not good. Nope. I don't think it was around to see you actually do this part. You were much later in the game when I originally came in. Yeah. Come on. Get on, get on, get on, blow, run, run! Yay! Escape! <laughs> I did it! Here it comes! You fled from thing! Oh, 
shit, son! Did you just blow up its head? Yup. An upright bipedal weapon. Well, whoever was controlling it is a dead son of a bitch. We'll hear the rest back at base. Very big emphasis on was. Achievement unlock. Gears turn. Complete Hellbound mission. Mission complete. Yes. I did not get a no kills. Cause you know I wasted a couple of people. <laughs> oh. But they well. were mean to my dog. They deserved it. Oh my god, that's one of the harder missions too, just because of that stealth section. <gasps> Where you're that basically required to hide gun from a Gundam. Where you're basically required to hide from the fucking giant robot. Yeah. And, yeah, Salaanthropus is actually very close to what could be considered a prototype Gundam. Or at least a bipedal gun tank. Yeah. If you've seen the, um... Why do you suspect me? What, what is that, I the do? reboot I'm movies? On side. The ones that at least uh, redo the I original one-year war? The gun tank looks way better. Mm. It actually has a head. Not this little ray dome thing in shreds. It actually... In it lays down ago. on its stomach for tank mode. With them. He's the traitor snake! What's that? More truth serum? Ah, dick face number one and dick face number two, no, both in the same room together. Please keep me here. I need protection. Ah, ah. Oh. The one time we actually agree with Miller. Mm -hmm. oh, why? You're the odd one out. We all lost something. What? Except you. Serum isn't working. Either some procedure I'd say you're supposed to cringe through that, but considering who this asshole is, I think he fucking deserves it. What's he saying? Same as six hours ago. I had no idea the nuclear inspection nine years ago was a ruse. Cypher forced me to do their research after the attack. Do you think he had a hand in it? I do. But there's no proof yet. 
take a listen to this later. We need proof before we can pass judgment. Keep an eye on him. And don't tell anyone he's here. We'll have him continue his research in there. It's for his own good. The older guys will want his head. We can't guarantee his safety if we let him out. Boss! He mentioned something interesting. The reason why they pulled their plug on the operation in Afghanistan. He said their funding started going to Central Africa instead. Cypher is pursuing new research in Africa. Africa? What research? Emmerich doesn't know the details, but one thing he said does make sense. That Sahelanthropus alone isn't enough to cause an RFA. He claims that what they're doing in Africa is the missing piece. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Meaning it's not just another nuke. Bum bum bum! Question Huey at Mother Base, Africa today. Yay, cassette tapes. And now we get. We've just heard the ever mimetic line a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Nano machine, son! <laughs> God damn, you got four A ranks right there. Mm hmm. Don't you know? You got four A ranks there, don't you know? There's no doubt about it. Cypher's working on Suddenly, in Central Africa. <laughs> thinking to myself, what if Snake had a Midwestern accent? It's a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Get on that, a mod that gives everyone a Midwestern accent. Caution, heavy mist anticipated. Don't care if it's fan, fan voiceovers. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> Okay, at Mother Base 5, training D Dog. DD makes a pretty good partner. Yay, Omar. train D Doge. Yeah. Then later you gotta find the right peoples to make D Doge his, his, pup, his pup, right. puppo armor. Siberian Husky is a cross between a Spitz type dog and a wolf. Combat doggo. I think DD might have some wolf blood in him too. He isn't just smart, he's also shown remarkable judgment. If he doesn't do what you want him to, he's just doing what he thinks is right in the situation. And he's steady under fire. Remember, he's no lab dog. But learn his strengths, and you'll understand each other soon enough. You'll make one hell of a team. Ocelot. Why don't you take it upon yourself to train him? Huh? Why? Yeah. When's the last time you had a wild cat raising a dog? I have an eye for him. I know at first glance he'd make the right partner for you. Huh. And I figured it was about time he got out to the world. So you passed him off on me. There, you see? I knew you liked him. I don't know about that yet. I still think he's trying to figure me out, too. I'll spend some more time with him. You'll see how helpful he can be. What about you? I prefer to work alone. Ocelots don't hunt in packs. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, I'm glad you like him. Dee's really taken to you, too. And to going on your walks. Don't be shy about taking him with you in the future. I'll think about it. Question Huey. It wasn't just Cypher. Back in the Caribbean, every eye in the world was turned on us. A private army. Just a bunch of guys with guns in possession of a nuke. Why yeah, do ocelots don't hunt in packs. And that's why you made sure the inspection happened. It's an, kind of an odd callback to Metal Gear Solid 3. Mm-hmm. 
I thought I was making the best decision for all of us. That's all. I figured <coughs> we should get a third party to exonerate us before proof of the nuke did get out. And who better to do that than an organization with international authority? Welcome back. So the truth is, you took it upon yourself to agree to an inspection arranged by the UN. Only the inspection was a ruse, and Cypher Strike Force XOF showed up instead. I had no idea that would happen. Enough bullshit! Oh, sure, like I could have known. You know, I was just trying to prove our innocence hey, to the world. Boss. How about it? What's wrong with that? We're not interested in the excuses you thought up. The truth is objective. Just see it from my point of view. You led XOF to the control tower. They seized it, giving them complete control <coughs> over the base. Moments later, they detonated C4 on the strut leg. Anyone who'd managed to survive was hunted down by the assault force and their choppers. You can't believe I did that on purpose. That was the end of Mother Base. But it wasn't the end for you. How can you... Look, think about it. I lost something too. I built Zeke and it got blown <coughs> in the water. I am a victim. That raises the big questions. Why were you the only one spared? You got away without a scratch. Why did Strange Love leave the base on the eve of the inspection? You two were close. Strange Love? <laughs> and how did you manage to build something that surpasses Zeke in every way? Because you did everything they told you. <laughs> You're the only one who didn't lose a thing. That is the truth. Th I was taken away against my will. Skullface forced me to do his research in these past nine years. He used me. I lost nine years. Nine years? We all lost nine years. It wasn't just you. I suppose blaming me makes you feel better, does it? But who's gonna give me back all the time I lost? You're not getting anything back. You're not a victim here, Emmerich. You're the perpetrator. I didn't know anything. Nobody can back that up. Yeah, all the evidence is at the bottom of the ocean. You know the hardest man to break. The type who's fooling himself. That takes time. It's easier to live a convenient lie than a painful truth. Is that the piece you've chosen, Doc? I'm not lying. Of course. Just let me check one or two things. On that day, you were in the control tower with them. Lucky you. That's how you got out unscathed. And you escaped on one of their choppers. Only you, right before the base went under. They had me blindfolded the whole time. I've never been so scared. The whole flight, I thought they'd kill me. But, but thinking of you kept me going. My comrades, all the way. And? There was a plane journey, and then we traveled by road. When they finally took off the blindfold, I was in kind of a warehouse. Did I floor. just see an anime thing on lab. screen briefly? You did. You did. I keep having to remind myself that a company that's constantly trying to commit suicide made this game. Right. That is also Japan based. Yeah. A system that could fire an ICBM class nuclear weapon. That's how the Saholanthropus project got started. Saholanthropus. Those AI weapons I'd made in Costa Rica were like toys by comparison. A whole world apart from reptilian four-legged crawling and, and that ridiculous hunched-over bipedal waddling. My design evolved to the dawn of mankind. Sahelanthropus, the first steps towards humanity. An upright bipedal weapon system. Originally, Sahelanthropus was going to be a manned weapons platform. I designed a cockpit in its head and I planned to fill it with water as a buffering agent. Like how Paz modified Zeke for human control. Don't compare me to some amateur. I designed it for human control from the beginning. The problem was miniaturizing the posture control AI. You remember the reptile pod? The AI that controlled your unmanned weapons. A 
attaching it externally makes it vulnerable. So this time I wanted it beneath the armor. Meaning I had to make the AI smaller. I got it down to less than a tenth the size without any loss in computation speed. But it was still too big for the cockpit. There wasn't enough room for the pilot. If I made the head bigger, its body would have to be bigger to support it. Too big to be practical. In the end, human piloting was taken off the table. I tested a remote control system too, but there was the time lag and I wasn't satisfied with its precision either. Plus, it would be useless if the enemy jammed it. So next, I went back to trying an AI-only system. To do that, I had the AI pod recovered from Nicaragua. This was a hybrid AI, a combination of Peace Walker's reptile and mammal pods. The only AIs that had ever successfully operated an unmanned nuclear weapons system. Really? You'd need some help to get that working. Expert help. Did you work with someone? I worked alone. You did that yourself? Well, that's the thing. The AI didn't pan out in the end either. But I did finally get Sahelanthropus walking by folding over its upper body to lower its center of gravity. The first upright bipedal locomotive weapon system in the history of mankind. I guess technically it falls into the anthropoid ape category. I don't see the benefit of having it stand taller. On terrain with significant differences in elevation, like Afghanistan, you need a body that's vertically adaptable. That also lets it attack from long range while using mountain ridges for cover. So, making it walk upright was the most important factor in giving it superior height capability. As the name suggests, that was the whole point of Sahelanthropus. But I was being pushed for results. Having the AI mounted externally would have been the fastest way to get it working. I, I just needed more data so we could maintain its balance. But Skullface refused to wait. He dismissed the idea of AI control and took Sahelanthropus away from me before I could finish it. But it was walking when it came after you. That's just it. I don't understand how Skullface got it to move upright. Without a pilot or an AI. And walking at that speed, too. It's beyond anything I could have imagined. This is like the Wright brothers making it to the moon. I I'm just as clueless as you are. So this Soholanthropus, where is it now? I have no idea. All my experiments took place at that cave. I've never seen it anywhere else. Besides, it's still just an incomplete prototype at this point, and nothing but a paper tiger. Even if it can walk, it's far from being a viable weapons platform. It wouldn't be useful in actual battle. Emmerich will remain here at Mother Base for now, but not as a member of Diamond Dogs. I still don't trust him. That work for you? Fine by me. He can't be allowed any contact with staff either. Yeah. A lot of the guys would love some payback for nine years ago. We still need him alive, but we have to restrict his movements. He can only go where we tell him. And of course, the interrogations will continue. He worked for that skull bastard for nearly a decade. He still has more to tell us. How long are we going to press him? If our investigation shows he really had nothing to do with the attack, we'll reconsider his place here. But I don't expect that to happen. Remember that water tank-shaped object in Emmerich's lab in the Soviet base camp? The thing that started talking to you like a possessed answering machine. That was a pod belt for housing the AI used to control unmanned weapons. You remember, back in 74 in Costa Rica. It was in those machines you fought there. They were designated Pupa, Chrysalis, Cocoon, and Basilisk. And each of them was fitted with an AI unit called a Reptile Pod. Emmerich created it. It mainly handled the machine's posture control and autonomous behavior. But the Basilisk, a.k.a. Peace Walker, also featured a second AI pod. That one was called the Mammal Pod, and it was created by Dr. Strangelove. She tried to recreate the boss's personality through the Mammal Pod, but you pulled out its memory boards. That's when it transferred its own functions to its reptile pod. Just like a human brain compensating for damage by using the remaining healthy parts, the result was a unique entity. A hybrid of the reptile and the mammal. 
It sank to the bottom of Lake Nicaragua with Peace Walker. But apparently they salvaged it and transported it to that lab. Don't let it deceive you, Snake. It may sound like the boss, but it has neither a personality nor a will. Like Emmerich says, it's just a machine. More cassettes to listen to. Ever since the attack on your unit oh boy. years ago, the name Big Boss has become known the world over. What do you mean? Those of your men who survived traveled far and wide. Going on a road trip while listening to your cassettes. In fact, they're part of the mm -hmm. reason we have all these PFs now. Every one of them suffered their own phantom pain from losing you. Talking about you wherever they went helped to heal their wounds. Your actions and words, your legend has been told on every battlefield they've set foot on. Obviously, as the tales have spread, the truth's been distorted, painted over. Big Boss sacrificed himself to show us the threat that Cypher poses. He sounded a warning, so it goes. A warning? Too much power destroys the hands that hold it. Apparently, you chose to be a living example of that. I never said any of that. The moment any truth is passed on, it starts turning into fiction. The problem is, fiction inspires people more than facts. To the world, you're now the legendary mercenary Big Boss. The lessons you've boss. taught the PS are the reason they're so widespread. They're the reason they've survived. And you know what they all aspire to? To one day go nuclear, just like you did. And stand up to Cypher. Of all the stupid things you could do, they'll never understand what you really wanted. Heroes are misunderstood. It takes a man of the same caliber to understand what drives them. Bottom line is, these guys want to be like their hero, Big Boss. And deep down, they all have their eyes on nuclear weapons. They say that a nuke is the only means of standing against Cypher. But these days, it's becoming little more than a slogan to rally the troops and survive in a cutthroat business. Currently, there are three major PFs who've expanded into Central Africa. CFA, Rogue Coyote, and Zero Risk Security. HEC's investigations have shown there's almost no overlap between their areas of operation. It's not so much a turf war, or like they have a gentleman's agreement. If you do cross paths with them, you probably won't have to face more than one at a time. Still, don't expect to walk in the park. The CFA, Contract Forces of Africa. These guys are a major player. Their head office is in Pretoria, South Africa. That's also where the South African Defense Force is headquartered. We think the two are closely connected. An HEC investigation revealed that most of the CFA's operators are former SADF soldiers. South Africa has been locked in struggles with neighboring regimes for years. That means constant action. And we know better than anyone that's the best kind of training. A company drawing its recruits from hardened military vets. You can bet they know how to handle themselves. Do not underestimate them. Within the CFA is a company of soldiers made up mainly of locally hired operators. They speak Afrikaans to communicate with personnel from the CFA. But if you notice any speaking the local language, that's them. Though hired from the local population, they were originally part of a paramilitary group. So they'll have plenty of combat experience. And unlike their days shooting junkyard rifles out of the <coughs> trucks, CFA now supplies them with the latest gear from the West. On top of that, they've been combat trained by the South African Army. All that adds up to a much stronger fighting force. So don't brush them off. Look at the Angola Zaire border region. The east bank of the Muneni River in particular. It's a microcosm of a problem that stretches all across Africa. There's a civil war going on in Angola, fought between the government MPLA and the Western-backed Unida. Zaire is still a dictatorship under President Mobutu, but numerous uprisings have broken out in its remote regions. With all the trouble elsewhere keeping their hands full, neither government has control over their side of the border. They depend on militias and PFs, as do the rebels. Government forces, guerrillas, militants, Groups of all shapes and sizes hawk whatever resources they can to hire PFs. Conflict brings PFs. PFs expand the war zone, and more conflicts erupt in a continuous chain reaction. <laughs> Sounds like our kind of work. 
Mother base could grow by leaps and bounds. No, oh, that's all of them. So I guess we'll call for the helicopter. Please select a landing zone. Landing zone. <laughs> Roger. This is B Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Got a lot of diamonds on that run, though. Yeah, no kidding. Arrived at Mother Base. Resume the game. Mission Boss, I've been meaning to tell you something. Our old friend Zero hasn't been seen in public since you left the States. That was over ten years ago now. You suspected he was responsible for the accident at your base in the Caribbean. But at that point, Zero was already bedridden. So it never felt right to me that Zero gave the order. Now that I've seen the man Emmerich was working for, I'm sure he didn't. I know that man. He was our old friend's XO. A man without a face. Not one you want to look at anyway. Skull face. He's the one who destroyed your base nine years ago. The unit he commands, XOF, was Cyber Strike Force. But he's since split from Zero and used XOF to usurp control over Cyber itself. In other words, the Cyber we're hunting isn't Zero. Beyond Zero is a void that's even darker. Again, playing Fallout and then thinking of Skullface, it's like, even a ghoul would be here. Pulsed by him. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, cargo. Uh, you can now pick up large cargo crates with your balloons. Well, in 18 minutes I'll be able to, yes. Project. Ooh, rockets. Flare, yes. Rockets, yes. Okay. Customize the helicopter. Main 
weapon more guns. rockets flares if that ain't enough Okay. I think that should just about settle everything. Oh my god, combat and R&D teams are full up. I mean, that's what happens when you stick a whole bunch of guys into a helicopter from a balloon. Balloons. Staff assigned. Okay. Yeah, hour and 28 minutes until that goes off. We've got all our things ready to go. I think with that, we'll call it a night. This is Man the Black Hat. And we'll see you next time for more... Whatever the hell we feel like playing. Uh, so, thank you for watching, whether live or recorded. We'll see you next time. Later.